Hi everyone, my name is Mel. This channel is Lethalia's Little Hook with Melanie. And what are we here for today? Well, I've got a deal for you. Not really a deal, but it's something new for my channel. It's not really the channel, it's me. I have these videos called Kitchen Adventures with Mel. And I've started cooking and baking, which has always been second nature to me. Um, I have been in the kitchen since I had to stand on a step stool to reach the top of the stove. And I've started making dessert sauces. This one here, hot fudge double chocolate hot fudge. Not only does it include a Dutch processed cocoa powder, but it includes bittersweet chocolate. Gosh, does that make it delicious. And I've got some testimonials that say that. This one over here, a little bit out of range, salted caramel. Tastes like liquid, what are they? Werther's. Liquid Werther's, I have been told by more than one person. Now, what is going on with these? I have decided to start selling them. So many people have asked about them. I keep my kitchen clean. I have worked in kitchens in restaurants a three-star French restaurant. I have worked in grocery store bakeries, many, many grocery store bakeries as a cake decorator, as a baker. I have worked in restaurant kitchens, so I know the foods um, serve safe certification steps. I do have two dogs, so it is not completely sterile, but I do keep the food and the dogs separate. Now, like Aaronette Crafting Kitty says, the dogs do come through here. The dogs do, I do touch the dogs, but I do wash my hands before I go anywhere near the food. However, there might be dog hair on my clothes. I do put an apron on before I cook. Now, when I do the kitchen adventures, I don't always wear an apron because that is food for my family. So, I am hoping we have another building over on our property, and it is vacated now. That has a full kitchen in it. I'm hoping to get that to cook in from here on out, and that will be sterile. So, let me show you what we have done. These are 8-ounce jelly jars, and I fill them. They cannot be hand though because I only have a water bath canner. Um, when you have dairy in your food, you want to pressure can it to make it shelf stable. I do not have a pressure canner, but these will stay about six weeks in your fridge. Possibly longer. Is that right? Long. That sounded weird to me. I know I'm being... I'm being real serious for people who actually know me. They're like, what's wrong with you, Mel? You're awfully serious. Well, if you look at me, I got my Harold Hill, you know, salesman suspenders on. I'm doing science with, you know, Beaker and Bunsen, Bunsen and Beaker here. These are rainbow. I mean, I'm not totally serious. And in my hair, I got my skull moth you know death moth and but let me show you we have made a mock-up of some labels lethalia's double chocolate hot fudge these are just a mock-up i will be printing them out and putting them on lethalia's salted caramel and this emblem here is my actual youtube which is behind it my youtube insignia for my channel 
and I will be making more. So don't think if these are gone, there will be no more. I am also thinking of branching out into other sauces, bananas, foster, maybe some fruit sauces. I would love some suggestions. You know, even if you don't think you want to buy any, suggestions are always welcome. I am thinking of flavoring some of the caramels. And yes, I say caramel, not caramel. But um, maybe like a pumpkin spice caramel or a mocha caramel or an apple caramel. My dad suggested an orange caramel. Very nice. So what I am thinking is $10 a jar for the caramel because I do have to pay for the jars, all the ingredients, and the time. And it does take time. If you've ever tried to take, make caramel, it can burn very easily. And for the hot fudge, $12 a jar, I use high cost ingredients. Um, it gets Ghirardelli, bittersweet chocolate, and um, the Dutch processed cocoa is a little more expensive than your regular everyday cocoa. Um, I totally understand if people aren't willing to pay those prices, but it is hard work and worth the price. Now here is where it comes better. Um, I'm using flat rate uh, priority shipping. So whether you buy one jar or you buy four jars, your shipping will be the same within any U.S. address. Any U.S. address, it said. So, Puerto Rico, you're good. Um, and if you order a second time and you return the jars, for every jar you return, you get a dollar off your next order. Now, I will have to get the jar back before you get the dollar off. That's just because, but I will, you know, give you, if you hear rustling around Ruby, hashtag queen Ruby, if you know her is having a rough and tumble time nesting on her comfy chair in the living room. And she is quite happy with herself. She had a rough day today. You, if you watch my channel, you know she's been having some rough days. She's getting up there in years, and she's not so happy these days. So right now, she's quite happy after nesting the chair. Yeah, she's smiling. But, okay, so I would love any suggestions on new flavors of sauces, completely different sauces, in fact. I'm willing to try anything. Um... But the salted caramel, all this information will be in the description box below. And if you want to order anything, um, you can reach me at my email, which will be in the description box below. I'm going to cut out all the extra stuff I normally put down there and just put the information for the sauces. And maybe someday I will move into other things like candies or baked goods or whatever. And, you know, these go excellent on baked goods. In fact, I mean, baked goods, like you could drizzle the caramel on something delicious, like homemade zucchini bread with zucchini out of your own garden. Oh, where did this come from? Yeah, the goof is back. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, I mean... Not like I don't have five loaves of it. Oh my gosh, so much zucchini. But as of right now, I have a few jars of hot fudge and a few jars of salted caramel. And I can always have more as need be. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think of the endeavor. And, you know, shine bright like the stars you are because you are all stars. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.